Hi, this is David of Inspect Canada. Something that we see almost on a daily basis when we're doing our home inspections are clogged up drains or really slow draining drain. And if we take a look at this one, for example, I'm putting just a little bit of water in there and um, it doesn't go nowhere. See, I don't know if you can see that properly, but this water is still there and it's draining extremely slowly. So this can be due to a few things. Um, there could be, it could be loaded with hair right under this stopper right there and or the trap under the sink might be full of garbage. So first of all, I'm gonna check this out, try to clean this up a little bit and then I'm gonna show you under the sink how the trap looks, what it's designed for and how do we take it apart to clean it up in case that uh, we have a slow draining uh, sink this happens in the kitchen, in the bathroom, uh, laundry sinks, uh, wherever garbage going to get into it, um, it does have a chance to get clogged. So let me try this first here, try to clean this up. Let's see what happened. All right, so this is the stopper. We got a little lever right there to make it work. Most of the time, it depends on the model, but most of the time you can unscrew this cap here and look at what's under there. Ooh sweet nastiness so what do you think that is well i'll let you uh, figure that one out oh we got a little bit of a broken ring here so there must have been a little bit of a rubber ring around there and then we can try you can get a hook and try to clean this up as much as you can but i think it was mostly right at the top right here i'm looking in there and it doesn't look that bad so i'm gonna un i'm gonna screw this back on it probably helped a little bit but definitely it's clogged up under the sink and I'll show you that right away. All right, so we're under the sink right here and that is the trap. So this trap here has a bit of a loop at the bottom and the idea with this is that whenever you run the water in the sink, water comes down, it has enough speed to clear the trap, go, goes up like this, woo, goes on the other side. And then when you when you stop the water, a little bit of water basically comes back down and it fills this up so that it prevents the sewer gas from coming back in here and then stinking the whole place. So if we didn't have these trap and you were using the sink and you smell around there, it probably would smell like toilet. So, but this trap here, every time you have debris in your water, it comes down and it kind of piles up at the bottom here. And, and then so basically it does prevent the water from going woo on the other side. So more debris gets stuck in there. And eventually this is what happened. <laughs> the sink gets clogged or it's very slow draining. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unscrew it right here and unscrew it right there. This whole part here is going to come right off. I'm going to have to put a little bit of a container under there just so that the nasty water doesn't really make this place messy. But um, and then I'm going to clean it up. I'm sure it's full of garbage. And then we're going to put it back on. And I can guarantee you the sink is going to flow like it was installed yesterday. In most cases, these nuts are, are just hand tight. But sometimes they're pretty tough to deal with. This one I can do it. But if I did have some problem, I got some channel lock right here. That would have fixed the problem right away. So let's bring this up right to the end right here. So this is loose. So now this piece has a chance to go up and down. Oh, a little bit of water coming up. Good thing we got a little pan at the bottom right there. All right, so. Let's see, we got a little bit of debris back in there as well. See if I stick my finger, look at the goo in there. This is super disgusting. But while we're here, we might as well clean this up. And uh, all right, so I'm gonna put that in the sink, clean it up, reinstall it. And then uh, that will be pretty much the end of this little project here. And everybody's gonna be happy because now this is gonna be draining super nice and easy. So this is nice and clean on the other side, all right. All right, so we want to make sure we clean this trap nice and good. We can't clean it in the bathroom where we were because we have no more traps. Water is going to go right under the sink. So let's run the water here. Let's run some good water. Ah, 
This looks nice and clean right now. So we'll go and install that and test the flow. All right, so let's put this strap back on. This is all plastic, so you don't want to make it too tight because we see it cracked all the time. So it's really just hand fitted, hand tight. I'll keep the pan here just in case that there's a bit of a leak, but uh, I highly doubt it. All right, so let's run the water and let's see how that looks. Okay, so I've got the trap back on. Let's throw some water in there and see how it behaves. So far so good, seems to be draining perfectly fine. See, boom, water is gone. Now, I do wanna make sure that it's not leaking under there, because if you don't tight it up properly or it's crooked, it could start leaking. But we find as home inspectors that if we fill up the sink all the way to the overflow here, and then we release this water, we catch a lot more leak like that. Whenever you run the water like this, water kinda goes in and it doesn't quite leak. But when you get a full pipe of water, often it will leak. So I'm going to fill this up, test the stopper, fill it all up, and then I'll release it and we'll check on there if there's any leakage. We also like to fill in the sink because we want to make sure that this overflow here is not leaking or clogged up as well. All right, so we got a full sink here. Let's stop it. Let's bring our camera right here under the sink and let's release the water. Oh, I can see there is a little bit of a drip of water right here. So let me see if I can tighten this up even more. Yeah, I just tied it up. The sink is still draining and we have no more leakage here. So let's make sure once in a while it doesn't hurt to go under your sink and then tight these nuts to make sure that they don't start leaking in the near future. So as you could see, uh, unclogging a drain or cleaning the trap it's not a very difficult job. You don't really need any tools. Really, just you need is, is, is a little bit of time and the know-how. So, and now you know how. So, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help in any way we can. Don't forget to subscribe and like and click the little bell just so that you get a notification every time we upload a new video. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. We're, you know, we're very happy that, uh, you know, you took the time to watch this video and, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep producing them. So until next time, have a beautiful day.